connection is I lived almost all my life right near downtown Biddeford on Judge Street in Biddeford for a very long time. And I, there was the only time I went down to downtown Biddeford was when I started working at West Point. And then I would go down there and I would go for lunch at the uh, Woolworths, the old world of Woolworths down there. And I used to have the lunch down in the uh, old bar stools. And I used to go to, what was the Linda shop? Um, there used to be a clothing shop down there, which was very convenient. A lot of those stores have gone away, which is sad, but there is a lot of nice restaurants. And that's what I remember. What do I recall? Well, I was born and brought up in Bedford. Uh, I remember going downtown Main Street. Um, used to ride my bike a lot because we had a lot more stores downtown. I recall one of the, one of the stores being the Woolworth store where uh, we used to go down in the basement section of the, uh, the store and they had all kinds of little goodies down there, and five and ten cents uh, candy and things of that nature. And then we had a lot of other businesses downtown like Palakwit. Butler's, Ulin's. And I recall a lot of people shopping downtown Main Street, uh, you know, around the holidays and stuff. So um, my parents used to go there a lot when we were kids. And then, uh, you know, the store started to spread out away from Biddeford and it got kind of people up towards the mall area. In Portland, I remember the main mall came around. It seemed like it took away a lot of the uh, people in the area. And people started to shop more in the, in the malls. I brought up was on Freeman Street. same apartment for years so everybody on the same street were there for years and years and we were all brought up together so it was almost like the whole street was like a family uh, now today it's like it's different people just come in and out and off they go uh, so I've seen a lot of change in uh, that aspect but um, uh, it was more or less like a family oriented uh, neighborhood than what it is now. Main Street when I was younger was more busy there was more people but there was a lot more stores that provided for the different things that you needed, like the clothing, like the children's shop, like the uh, restaurant. Um, all those different things, so there was a lot more provided for you downtown than there is today. And that's what I remember when I was younger. And for me, what I remember is, like I mentioned earlier, uh, was seeing a lot more people downtown uh, down Main Street, especially in the area of the uh, the Puritan, where the Happy Dragon is located now. That was a popular place where people used to hang out. Uh, I was I was really young at the time, but I remember my brothers and my sister going in those areas and people used to just drive around in circles down Main Street and I was more or less of a hangout. The significant memories that I recall was the uh, well, the West Point Pepperell at that time. Uh, then you had Biddeford Textile, seeing all the people going into work. Uh, it was a lot busier downtown. Uh, but I remember a lot was the uh, Around the holidays, Christmas time, we had a lot of people were coming down, down Main Street. It was always uh, well decorated, and the stores were all decorated. And so I, that I remember a lot, uh, and I'd like to see that come back. Really, the only reason why I went downtown, to be truthful, was just because in my younger years, we just didn't go down there. But when I started working for West Point, That's what made me go downtown and, and look at the different shops. And like I said, Woolworth was my favorite place to go. And I just 
from there I enjoyed going to all the different places and doing all the things, but it mainly came from starting to work at West Point. For me, it was going to get a haircut, and I still go there today. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, the uh, barbershop on the corner, uh, the Ralph and Rogers it used to be, now it's just Rogers. since I was a kid, so that was one place I used to go a lot to get my hair cut. But the one that I recall the most was the Woolworth store that I mentioned earlier. That was a place to go because if we had uh, 25 cents or 50 cents in our pocket, we were itching to go spend that 25 cents and you could go down to Woolworths and get a bag full of candy and come home with it. And, you know, uh, it was great just to be able to go right downtown, but most of the time that's where we'd go over and uh, come back, but uh, a lot of times we wouldn't tell my parents mm -hmm. that we were heading down there because they didn't like the idea of us leaving the area mm -hmm. and going down Main Street on our own, but a lot of times we did it and came right back home, but we spent that money. <laughs> what I miss most about downtown is having the specialty shops. I miss uh, not being able to go to the children's shop and land events and all those stores that, that had specialty items in there. Uh, just, just so that you could buy something special for somebody and those, those days are gone. I miss not being able to walk to the different stores and, and just seeing everybody that used to be down there. Those are the things that I miss most. And I, and I did enjoy uh, Woolworth a lot. It was, it was a lot of fun to go in there. And that's what I miss most. I kind of agree with that as far as the specialty shops, uh, the, uh, all the little shops that we had downtown. I know that Bitterford is trying hard to uh, try and bring that back and I uh, commend the people who are uh, working on doing that, but I'd like to see uh, the downtown the way it used to be. Um, and, uh, and I think over time things will change uh, with the mills and so forth. And, um, that's pretty much what I'd like to see. Uh, same thing. Shops. Uh, again, I'm in favor of the mills, um, revitalizing the mills. Uh, it's sad to see that all the retail business, uh, all the, the people that work in all these mills for so many years, that people still around, uh, seeing this go away. Because Bitterford was brought up with the mills. I mean, the river was there, the, the mills were where everybody worked. I always wondered when I grew up, why are all these apartment buildings so close? Why did everybody just live so close together? But there was a reason behind it, and people had to work in the mills because that's all they had around town. So they uh, had to live nearby in apartment buildings and they walked to work. 